Have you been suffering with gout, painful joints, achy? It could ruin your day. In this video, I'm gonna break down everything you wanna know about gout. Let's do this. What's up, Keto Camper? Ben Azadi here, certified functional health practitioner, best-selling author of three books, and I am on a mission to educate one billion people on planet Earth. I'm grateful that you found me and you're watching my video today. In this video, it's gonna be all about gout. I'm gonna to present to you the triggers, the foods that trigger gout that you must avoid in order to get your gout under control. We're gonna talk about what the conventional way of treating gout is versus the root cause way. What is the root cause of your gout? How to prevent flare-ups. Let's face it, gout flare-ups are not fun to deal with. They will debilitate you, they'll ruin your day, and they'll make you feel like pure crap. So I'm gonna give you all the tools, all the information, everything you need to know to take care of this gout for good. Sound good? Let's do this. What is gout first and foremost? You might not know the definition of it, but it's categorized as a form of arthritis with painful, stiff joints. The stiffness and painfulness in the joints are a result of excess uric acid buildup. And these form crystals in your joints. It is not fun to deal with this. Now conventional medicine will tell you that the only way we could deal with this is to prescribe you some painkillers and drugs to give you some temporary relief, which it may do, but it's never getting to the root cause. And when we look at treating the symptom, that's not what we talk about here on Keto Camp. We talk about root cause because just treating the symptom, just looking at the effect and of not paying attention to the cause, that's like playing the old whack-a-mole game at your arcade, you get this toy hammer and a symptom pops up, which is this mole, and you whack it on the head and that symptom goes away. But what happens next? Another mole symptom pops up and it's just never ending game of moles. So let's get rid of the moles. Let's find out why are there moles in the first place? Why are there symptoms in the first place? And then once you have the cause, you take care of the cause and by default, the effect goes away. So in this video, you're gonna learn that cause. Let's talk about what triggers your gout flare-ups. And if you've been dealing with flare-ups, the list I'm about to show you, you wanna pay close attention to. So grab your pen, grab your paper, and take some notes here. These are the top five things that are going to flare up your gout and make things worse. Number one, fructose and sucrose. That means if you're eating a lot of fruit and drinking a lot of fruit juice, that's not gonna be beneficial for you to reduce these gout flare-ups and get to the cause. So limit your fruit juice. I would say avoid fruit juice altogether and limit your fruit intake and also your intake of sucrose. And you could do a Google search for the foods that are highest in sucrose and fructose. Those are the ones that you want to avoid. Next, we have alcohol. Studies show it's clear. Alcohol will increase your gout flare-ups. You'll have more often when you drink alcohol. And I'll put a study down below in the notes and you can check it out. The worst ones on that list in the study showed beer and hard liquor. All right, I would avoid it altogether because it's going to cause a problem with your gout. Next, I would probably put like three stars here. I probably should have done that. This is a big one right here, vegetable oils. Vegetable oils create a lot of inflammation and you're gonna learn more about inflammation shortly, but when you have vegetable oils in your diet, it's going to flare up your gout. It's gonna prevent you from getting control over your gout. So what are vegetable oils? These are the vegetable oils you want to avoid at all costs. We have canola oil, corn oil, rapeseed oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, and peanut oil. Those are the eight ones you want to avoid. Instead, you want to have healthier oils like avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, even MCT oil, grass-fed butter, grass-fed ghee. These are much better options for your gout. Sugars and grains, notice how they are paired together because a lot of people say, oh, I don't eat sugar, but they're eating wheat bread, they're eating all these grains. Guess what? That turns the sugar in your body and that will flare up your gout. I don't know if you knew this, but a slice of wheat bread jacks up your blood sugar levels as much as a Snickers bar or a 12 ounce can of soda, okay? So we wanna make sure we're limiting our carbohydrate intake, especially sugar and grains. Lastly here, this might surprise you, but tap water. If you're drinking tap water, it's gotta stop. It's not contributing to your health, it's actually doing the complete opposite. 
Tap water is loaded with toxins and fluoride and things we don't want in our body. The lead that's in this toxic water, it makes the aldosterone system in your body insensitive to potassium and it inhibits uric acid excretion. And the fluoride that's in there increases the absorption of the lead. Not good. So avoid drinking tap water. Also, it's a good idea to put a shower filter in your shower because when you take a shower and you have that water touch your skin, it's also going into your bloodstream. So a $25 shower filter on Amazon will do the trick. I'll put a link for the one that I use down below in the notes of this video. So these are the ones you wanna avoid. We have to remove the interference first before I provide you with the solutions, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Notice what's not on here are, is protein. A diet and quality protein does not cause gout, contrary to a lot of the articles you're gonna read on Dr. Google. So what is the real cause of gout, you might ask? Let's get to that right now. The root cause of gout is inflammation, okay? Inflammation is linked to just about every single disease out there and it's the cause of your gout. Here's the deal, when you have high levels of inflammation in your body from different stressors, we'll talk about the number one stressor I see, uric acid is increased because uric acid is an antioxidant to deal with the inflammation. So the problem is not necessarily the symptom, which is high levels of uric acid, it's what's causing the inflammation to go up that it has a response in your body, which is to produce an antioxidant called uric acid. So what is the number one thing I see in the modern society that causes inflammation? High insulin levels. This creates massive amounts of inflammation in your body. So we wanna make sure we keep insulin in check by avoiding those trigger foods I mentioned. The carbs, the grains, the alcohol, the fructose, the sucrose. Limit that as much as possible. Here's an interesting fact for you. You make five to 10 times more purine in the body than what you get from diet. So the problem is not necessarily about too much uric acid levels, it's not having the capability to excrete it, to release that uric acid from the body. So for 90% of gout sufferers, this is the problem, the inability to excrete the uric acid levels. The other 10% have a genetic mutation, which will still help when you follow the solutions I'm gonna provide for you shortly. Now that you understand what triggers your gout and the root cause of gout, I'm gonna give you three solutions here to get rid of your gout for good. And before I reveal those three solutions to you with a surprising bonus at the end here, if this video has been helpful so far, please take a second to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the Keto Camp YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button right now with the little bell next to it. We're releasing five brand new videos all about keto, fasting, performance, and longevity on this channel every single week. And I would love for you to be a subscriber. So let's get into the three solutions to get rid of your gout for good. Number one solution, healthy keto and fasting. But Ben, when I do keto, it flares up my gout. When I practice fasting, it flares up my gout. How can that help? This is the reason why you get a gout flare up when you practice keto. Number one, when you practice keto, your kidneys are going to release a lot of liquids. You're gonna lose a lot of water weight and you're gonna lose a lot of electrolytes. When you have these electrolytes being lost, you're gonna get dehydrated, which could flare up your gout. So you wanna make sure you're doing healthy keto by avoiding those vegetable oils we spoke about and consuming the healthy oils we spoke about and replenishing your electrolytes consistently throughout the day by drinking high quality spring water with sea salt. You could also drink my keto cocktail every morning. This is a really good idea for you to drink this keto cocktail every morning, which is 16 ounces of water with one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a pinch of sea salt and a pinch of cream of tartar. Drink this in the morning, drink it throughout the day. If you consistently replenish your electrolytes, you won't get dehydrated and keto and fasting will not make your gout Worse, it will make it better because here's the deal. Ketones are very much anti-inflammatory. And we just established that the cause of gout is inflammation. So we wanna produce ketones to deal with that inflammation and not produce uric acid levels to deal with that inflammation. So keto, healthy keto, that's the caveat there. Healthy keto and fasting will do the trick. And on this channel, I have so many videos on keto and fasting if you're new to it. Uh, make sure you watch those videos. I'll put a couple of related videos in the notes and you could also click the button right here and see a couple of playlists drop down for you to explore more about how to do keto and fasting the right way. 
Next, we want to optimize magnesium and potassium levels. The studies show when you optimize these two nutrients, you're going to prevent flare-ups. That also goes hand in hand with the hydration part because you want to get those trace minerals to get in magnesium and potassium. You could also eat green leafy vegetables, arugula, dandelion, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, eat foods, avocados, wild caught fish, eat foods that are loaded with potassium and magnesium. You could also take it through supplementation, which is actually the third tip here, smart supplementation. When I say smart supplementation, I mean do it strategically. That's the key thing here, supplementation. It's supposed to supplement the healthy diet. The big, these are the big action steps right here, and this is an add-on. Okay, so these are the ones you gotta get handled for sure, but if you want a boost, if you want an assistance, then have some smart supplementation. I'm gonna put some notes down below of some supplements that, that could help with your gout. I do have an extensive protocol all about how to handle gout. It's loaded with supplements, it's loaded with a, a full guide for you, and I do have that available for my Keto Camp Inner Circle members. So if you want that guide, and if you want group health coaching from me, head over to ketocamp.com, and you can get that, and you can get coaching from me as well. But I'll put some of those supplements down below in the notes, so go check those out, and I'll put a description to why they're helpful for you. The bonus tip here, the final tip, is that yes, yeah, studies show that drinking coffee can reduce your gout flare-ups. There's a caveat there. You wanna make sure your coffee comes from a quality brand, quality source. A lot of the coffee out there, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, it's loaded with pesticides and herbicides and mold. That's gonna create more inflammation. So drink high quality organic shade grown coffee and it will help with your gout. I get my coffee beans from Purity Coffee Beans. They are the highest amount of antioxidants. They are mold free, they're delicious and I get mine delivered to my door every single month. You can get yours too over at ketocampcoffee.com. If you use the coupon code KETOCAMP, you'll get 10% off at checkout. I'll put a link for that down below. So my fellow coffee drinkers, I know that you love that bonus tip right there. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And I wanna know, out of this video, what was the biggest thing that stood out for you? Please comment down below with your biggest aha moment during this video. I'd love to hear your takeaway. And subscribe to the Keto Camp YouTube channel to get five brand new videos every single week. I'm gonna get to the Keto Camp YouTube comment of the day. This comes from Beth Brown. I have printed off your Keto Kickstart Guide and the Flex Cookbook and put them in a binder. I have places for notes and a journal. Today I begin, thank you for your videos and resources. I enjoy learning and it's time for a change in my life. Oh, I'm so happy to read that, Beth. I'm excited for you in this new journey and great job printing it out and putting it into a binder. That is very, I'm very impressed with that. She was referring to my Keto Kickstart Guide, which is a 12 page ebook. It's completely free. It's gonna teach you how to do healthy keto and fasting the right way. And you can get that for free over at www.ketokickstartguide.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm truly grateful for you and you'll see me on the next video.